Howdy folks and all the wonderful subscribers. It's me again, your Chief Edo Lancy. I have uh, recorded this uh, video presentation uh, basically for the purpose of uh, scrutinization, suggestions and uh, comments so that um, I will be able to see uh, if I need to uh, move on with it, uh, with the developments. This is nothing compared to the uh, realistic or uh, unhand experience that you have on board, especially for the uh, marine engineers and of course on the deck side as well but uh, what I'm trying to point out is that as you can see uh, doing the deck side is uh, a little bit more comfortable compared to the engine side because uh, on the deck side uh, well uh, it's uh, almost uh, uh, quite uh, what do you call that uh, easier because you have here uh, mostly are uh, given and that that bits of rectangles and squares and circles unlike in the uh, engine area it's a bit more uh, tedious thing to do uh, a lot of redundancy and uh, it's a little bit more challenging to uh, uh, do so so uh, if you can find some time I'll appreciate it much that you could just give a thought about it and uh, let me know uh, what is your uh, suggestions or uh, what other things that uh, you would want to see this can be interactive uh, and of course you can integrate the gizmos that you are looking at right now like uh, controlling the cranes I think I have shown this uh, a couple of times uh, some months ago but uh, yeah uh, let's just go down the engine room because that's the main concern that I have right now it's uh, just about uh, it's not even uh, opening uh, for whatever reason just uh, give me a direct uh, straightforward uh, comments and suggestion and uh, if there's uh, something that you would like to mention or see or uh, analyze uh, for example uh, this is a boiler and some ventilation so the lightings and even uh, I'm planning to put uh, cranes a uh, girdel type of cranes so there you go you could see the alpha level in that area and some tanks that are not covered yet with the uh, cover dumps so uh, I'm not even sure of the locations and the proportions of in terms of sizes like pipes stairs and whatever that is related to its uh, item say for example this is the engine control room and let's just uh, it's not even working with the animation of the doors for now I don't know what happened with my programming uh, I've been sailing uh, for quite some time and I stopped since 2011 and this just became my hobby and my uh, intention is that to uh, somehow uh, uh, introduce this to be used on the entry level like in the academies apprentice uh, or cadets or cadets and that of course this is nothing compared to the simulators uh, and that is used by training centers this is just uh, maybe a gratis software that can be used by anybody and uh, as you can see these are the consoles and we can integrate them and synchronize them with the equipments that you can see outside or in the engine area uh, that's the press water generator I have uh, discussed this uh, also in my previous topics and this is a uh, feed water and condenser for the boilers there are a lot of things to be done uh, this uh, the generator area and uh, fresh water and seawater cooling system is already in place uh, low oil and fuel oil system has yet to be uh, designed as you can see there are not even brackets that or stanchions that hold the uh, pipings in place and that's the uh, challenges that I have right now uh, the air compressor is a lousy put some animations are yet to be uh, rep, uh, re improved or re see it's not opening properly it's just the sticker that's opening but you should be able to get inside and climb the uh, trunks uh things like that and it's quite a little bit hard because uh, you know uh, i'm just basing it on uh, materials given by colleagues former colleagues uh, on the diagrams and um, the thing is that i am more uh, concerned on the proportions of the sizes like for example this is the cooling water system or the closed loop of the fresh water system uh, cooling on the main engine room and the uh, seawater uh, that is an in duplex with the fresh water see the pipes probably is oversized uh, and while the seawater pumps and heat exchangers might be small and uh, that is something that 
I need to know from you guys, especially on the engine side. You can go to the uh, CTS or builds area uh, using this test from the engine side. I think it's, I put it somewhere here. There are a lot of things yet to be uh, accomplished. Uh, I do not have the uh, uh, proper education in computer programming, but that's just an added skill that I managed to learn from time to time. And uh, somehow uh, uh, I came up with this. And like I mentioned uh, a while ago, virtual augmentation learning is nothing compared to the one that you are doing in real time or the one that you experience on board. But uh, maybe it uh, make a profound statement that somehow it will be utilized, especially at this moment in time wherein we have the crisis and pandemics. Of course, I'm not competing <laughs> uh, with simulator makers because, uh, well, I'm not a simulator maker. So this is the steering gear area and uh, it's not properly rendered. Uh, the design is quite fancy, so I have to replace those. But it can be interactively uh, controlled, it moves, uh, it synchronizes with the operation. Uh, it's like a simulator, but uh, uh, it's uh, not to the level of uh, full mission simulator and things like that. So there are, the doors are not opening. Garbage area are in place, generators, bunker area and safety. So yeah, um, safety rooms, uh, I'm fighting room, let's get into it, it's not even even. Yeah, so uh, yes, I have uh, asked earlier if uh, you kindly uh, look into this video, uh, give me your um, direct uh, scrutinization and just let me know if should I need to move on with this development or not, or I just uh, use it as a hobby anyway to uh, pass time, things like that. But I am more concerned on the engine side, but of course there will be a... a if it works, uh, I think I believe it's gonna work. Maybe I can elevate it to a game. You know, it's like you're being boarded by pirates and then you try to fend off the pirates or defend the vessel. It's like a Call of Duty team uh, or Counter-Strike games. Like you probably have some uh, uh, security personnel with you and they are uh, uh, firing at uh, to the pirates, maybe. Uh, that's another uh, angle that I'm looking at. So, uh, yes, gents, uh, ladies and gents, uh, those who are in the maritime sector, uh, deck side, and especially, as I mentioned, the marine engineering side, because that's the lacking part. And with regards to the tips, uh, type of ships, uh, well, that depends. Uh, it can all be done, uh, except for cruise ship or passenger, because they are uh, more uh, complicated to do, while uh, on most uh, ships like... Uh, general bulk uh, container, uh, car carriers, any type, uh, tankers, uh, of course, it's a lot more challenging also on tankers because basically it's also like the engine side because you have more pipes and bulbs. So, yeah, feel free to uh, comment uh, anything and let me know. And uh, I appreciate much if you could subscribe on this channel as well. Thank you.